Hello, hello, I'm Steph, and I help people like you create a life and a business that you absolutely love. Guess what? It's my birthday, and I'm going live. My neighbor just came over for breakfast, brunch, and she said, what are you doing today? And I said, oh, well, I just went to yoga, and we're having a dinner party tonight, and I'm going to get a massage, and I'm going to do a live video. And she said, don't work on your birthday. And I said, I like working, actually. You guys, I actually missed you. I realized I was just in Mexico for a week and with travel time and everything, it ended up being about 10 days. Um, I miss doing live videos. So next time I go traveling, maybe I'll do live videos while I'm traveling. Um, the days and days on the beach and by the pool, I've got all sorts of topics to cover, everything to create a life and of course a business that you absolutely love. The cool thing is I was with my brother and he has always been my go-to guy for finances, for um, mentorship. He's actually head of sales at a multi-million dollar company. So without picking his brain too much, we always have great conversations about business when we're together. And one of the conversations we had was on the law of reciprocity. I had no idea there was a law. I was actively doing this in my business. I was actively teaching people to do this in their businesses, but I had no idea it was an actual law. So all that it means is you give and you get. Simple example. Oh, I'll pay for this drink. Oh, I'll get your next one. That's what the law is. Or, oh, I'll grab your coffee. Okay, I'll grab your coffee next time. Um, I've got some funny stories to share with you on the, the law and a simple, another simple example would be, I always teach people to give value 90% of the time on their social media channels and to sell or ask 10% of the time. It's part of the four step process that I teach, um, in the launch phase, say you can do a free five day challenge and then you ask for a sale on the sixth day or on the fifth day of the challenge or my standard launching is for two weeks straight. I go live with videos, with free content, valuable content. And then after each video or webinar, I offer the sale, whatever I'm selling. Um, a funny example my brother actually had, which this is a little bit more woo woo than those examples I just gave. So he was at a meditation. Our whole family, we do 10 day meditations, which is one of the reasons why I started my online business. So I could go and meditate for 10 days and my business would still run itself. Uh, he just did one with his wife and my mom. And he was serving in the kitchen because these meditations we go to, they're volunteer run. So if you've already done one, you can go and serve in the kitchen. Um, so he was serving in the kitchen and he met this guy from India and um, he was teaching him his specific yoga technique. Because my brother's one of those guys that um, likes routine and habits and years ago one of his buddies taught him yoga and he said i'm going to teach you yoga he was a yoga teacher but you have to commit to i think it was eight weeks eight weeks straight of coming to my house every thursday you can't bail and you can decide after those eight weeks if you like yoga or not so from that day on he has this this yoga sequence that he does and he does this during the meditation so he taught that specific sequence to this buddy in the kitchen and his this guy was so grateful and then at the end of the 10 days, my brother said, hey, have my yoga mat just to help him keep going with this new found love for yoga. My brother rents out his house or his condo Airbnb style while he's away in Mexico or on um, meditation. And he came home to a yoga mat. So the chick that was there staying, she left a few things, like a few things she didn't need. One of them was a yoga mat. Total like woo woo law of reciprocity to the max total ridiculous could be a coincidence but isn't that funny um and I don't know if you guys know this about me but I often give my stuff away so um a big thing with it is you give without expecting things in return and some people think of this as karma karma is a little bit more woo woo whereas the law of reciprocity is actually uh proven and psychologists um, know this, that if somebody gives you something, you have a deep rooted subconscious, um, feeling you want to give back works in the opposite. If somebody hurts your feelings, you have a deep rooted need to maybe want to hurt them too. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, but 
it isn't as woo woo as maybe we think karma is or that yoga mat example. There's actual proof in the pudding with the psychology of the brain. Um, let me know in the comments if you've seen this in your life. Uh, my One of my most recent things was I was wearing a skirt and this girl said, oh, I love your skirt. I said, oh, you can have it. I, I don't need it. I, it's actually even a little bit too big. It doesn't even fit me properly. I was safety pinning it. Um, you can have it. I don't, I'm done with it. And then I came, I gave it to her at the healthy bug because I was working there and I came back the next shift and she had left a pile of chocolate bars. She, she owned a chocolate company. So instead of just taking that, she gave something in exchange. Um, <sighs> coffee break. So how does this relate to you and life and business? Well, the more you give, the more you get. And basically whatever, however you want to be treated, you treat others the same way. And specifically with business, the more you give, the more you'll get. So as soon as I started giving away free information, this doesn't mean breaking yourself, uh, breaking the bank, like giving away all your products for free. This means giving away the valuable stuff you have to offer, such as education. Um, and people will get to like, know, and trust you. It's kind of twofold. So you give away your valuable information, people like, know, and trust you, and then perhaps purchase your stuff or taken back straight to the law of reciprocity. You're giving away something. So they feel like they, whether they know it or not, they would like to purchase from you. Another example in my business is I have a free reset program. So I help people drop weight for free. Most of those people turn around and buy products from me without me even asking or buy bigger items, programs without me even asking. So for me, it's worth it to give away that program because I'm able to help people that maybe their barrier is I can't afford it. And I have one gal in mind that I'm thinking of. She, free programs sometimes are not valued. So you don't always get a success rate with them. So you can't get attached to people's results. Um, but one gal I'm thinking of, so I, a while ago, before it was open to everybody, I offered it to five people. Come work with me for free, drop 10 pounds. And then she turned, she had success in that. So she's super grateful. She's telling all her friends, I'm getting more referrals, all from just offering something for, for free. Um, now there was five people and only one of them actually did the program. So you have to know that when you give free stuff, there, it's not always valued. Um, people don't have the same accountability. So best to give out free stuff that's automated for you or passive so that you're not um, creating a negative association with giving so much and not, not getting enough in return. So uh, if you can set up something automated that is offered for free, you guys have probably opted into this type of thing before on social media, whether it's a free meal pattern or it's a free workbook. Um, for me, it's I get people into a free weight loss group and I give them all sorts of PDFs and meal patterns and um, information and videos. And then down the road, if and when they're ready, they want to purchase my stuff. So that's all that it is, is you give. And Gary V says, jab, 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 right hook. Reality is jab, 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 right hook. You really do want to give about 90% of the time, 10% sell. Um, it's really not a give, sell, give, sell attitude. It's just for the tagline, jab, 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 right hook. Sounds a little better. So that's Gary's way of communicating it. My specific way when I teach people how to run their businesses is 90% value, 10% sell. In a two week launch period, show up, give your value and ask for the sale. Cause a lot of the time people will give their value, but they won't ask for the sale. But you can't forget that piece. Um, yes. So coming back to the conversations with my brother while we were poolside, beachside, waterfall side, um, he is the man when it comes to sales and he, sells by listening to people to, um, if you are talking more than your prospect or your client, then it's not a successful sales conversation. You want them talking, you want, um, them attaching them running, um, 
you asking open-ended questions and them opening up. Um, storytelling was another thing we spoke about. I've been getting really into storytelling because that's actually how I sold my last um, coaching program. I just told my story of when I was a dietitian working in 10 different locations, burnt out, scattered, working full-time and running my business. I had gone in and out of the entrepreneurial lifestyle. I always had my business, but I was never able to take it full time. Um, finally, I figured it out. I um, hired a business coach. I actually invested in a business coach to take me to that next level. So I told that story because I was selling a coaching program that I was offering to coach health coaches how to quit their day job. And it's never been so easy to launch a product. So uh, for those of you who are toying with the idea of storytelling in your business, all for it. Um, so if you're selling a specific product, you can identify with a product and how it's helped you. Or if it's a lifestyle or a situation like myself, how I went from burnt out, scattered, run down to successful. So that's my main free offer for my business junkies. It's a four step process to go from burnout to success. So that would be me just spending an hour on a webinar giving value. And then by the end of it, um, I ask or I tell them what I'm offering. That would be example of, um, using the law of reciprocity and it's, it's all over there. You all over the internet, we see opt-ins left, right, and center. And since we're becoming kind of numb to opt-ins, I actually bypass opt-ins altogether and just show up live. And that's my style is to show up live on video. You can do blogging, videos, podcasts, however you can successfully communicate information and wherever your ideal client is. So I know my, my ideal client is a business, um, business gal or guy, usually gals, that is working full time and running their business, but they want to run their business full time and quit their job. So I know that they're hanging out on videos, social media, Instagram stories, podcasts. Um, so one of my goal, new goals is to uh, launch my podcast because me, myself as a business owner, I listen to podcasts every morning. These videos are great, but often people don't listen to them all the way through or they can't listen to them in their car because it's you're connected to the internet. So podcast for sure is going to be huge and awesome for my business. Um, if blogging is where your people are hanging out and reading content, then maybe that's what you do. You want to have a sweet uh, combination of what you're good at and what your ideal client wants. Um, oh, another cool story. So I talked about this gal earlier who came to me for a drop 10 pounds um, free program. Over my vacation in Mexico, I was getting, I just kind of switched niches, which is a little bit nerve wracking because I've to date been successful in the health world and I'm coming into this new world of business coaching and I have had a successful launch. I'm coaching three coaches to quit their day job. They're quitting by January, 2018. It's amazing, but we always have these kind of ups and downs and I got a little bit nervous for my next launch. I thought, holy shit, what if I've capped out? What if I don't have any more people watching that want my stuff for the next launch? So I got a little bit nervous. Um, but guess who messaged me was this gal who I gave a free program to so long ago. If I didn't offer that free stuff, I would have never got this message when I really needed it. And the message said, Steph, thank you so much for your business videos. They have helped me to open my own daycare. They have helped me to make the leap and start my own business. Oh my gosh, I actually am helping people and my audience cares. And this was someone who actually came to me for help. So yes, there's overlap and I'm, that's exactly what I needed. If I'm helping people, even just one person with these videos, great. So then that boosted my confidence and got me excited to do my next launch. So. That being said, I'm taking on three more coaches that want to quit their job by March, 2018. It's a 90 day escape plan. So, um, we work together for 90 days. This is perfect for you. If you're working full time and working your business part time, but you want to be working your business full time. So we're going to spend 90 days. We're going to put aside enough money so that you can successfully leave your business without feeling that guilt because 
financial stress is the biggest money repellent. So this isn't for you if you're just scratching by. This is for you if you have a little bit saved up so that you can take the leap with confidence without worrying about your bills. Because if you're worrying, as soon as you go full time with your business, if you are scratching for the next sale, that's a complete money repellent and it will not be easy. So this is perfect for you if you um, have been in and out of jobs, but you've always kept your business. So similar to me, I yo-yoed from having a job to doing my business, to having a job to doing my business for seven years. And then finally, when I hired a business coach and I was ready to invest some, some coin, 500 bucks a month, that's when I started, or that's when I made the leap and I've been doing it only it for over a year and a half. So that's the difference between what I was doing in the past. I was tried to do it without the support of a coach. Um, the support of a coach for sure was how I successfully celebrated my first 5k launch, sorry, 5k month, um, right when I was quitting my full-time job. And of course that fueled me to keep going. And that process is what I teach and what I use each and every time. And you're going to be seeing me use it as I sell out of these three seats. So I already have two girls that are very interested. The reason why I'm taking three is because to date, I've had everything you might have heard me talking about create creating a business or system so that it can run when I meditate or go away on vacation and I'm not stressed out because the whole point of having your own business is to be stress free, have more freedom, right? So I see way too many people glued to their computer, stressed out about where the next sale is coming from, not actually enjoying vacation. So that's a big part of what I did was I set everything up uh, with Nourish so that I could go and meditate for 10 days and my business would still run, my bank account would still grow. Um, so that's huge for me. So now that I'm taking on coaches and actually doing FaceTime videos with them, that's why I'm only taking three people is because I know that in order to keep my life how I want it, that's how much I wanna give. So three seats and definitely for the professional, the person who um, either dietitian or a fitness instructor, somebody who's serious about their business. That's not for startups. Um, I have a ton of free information for startup businesses, but this is specifically, this specifically works for those that have been in their business for three years, five years. Um, you've kept it going, even though it hasn't been easy. Cause then I know you're serious, not just people who are just starting out and it's a good idea or it's a dream. Um, there's other programs for startup businesses. This one's specifically for people who are, they're sick and tired of working their day job. They've been, they've had their business like similar to what I had. You, you were holding on to it over the years, even though it was maybe costing you money or you were only able to do it on business and we, business on, uh, evenings and weekends. If you are working full time and still working your business when you're tired, that means you're serious and you want to do this. So those are little criteria and signs that I know that you will be successful. Um, similar to my story and what I did, um, December, 2015, when I hired a business coach and decided to invest in my business, take it seriously, 500 bucks a month. I had a little pool of money. So a little tip for you, if you're just, if you're wanting to plan your escape, Every paycheck, take off 10% and put it into a savings fund. You will not miss it. You'll just work with what you have. And that's another little rule of thumb. Um, so that when you go to quit your business, sorry, go to quit your job, you have a reserve because there is nothing worse than str uh, financial stress. It's such a repellent and 80% of business is mindset. So if you're constantly telling yourself, Oh my God, I don't have enough money. I need a new, another sale. You're coming from the wrong place and it will not work coming from a place of service. How can you help people knowing that you have that reserve? And I still catch myself in this all the time. And I have to just come back to reality, actually check my bank accounts and yes, stuff you do have enough, right? Whereas it's so easy to get wrapped up in your head of telling yourself these stories that are not true, right? Because we've wired our thoughts or our money stories. So that's something that I do with my coaches in step three is setting up the financial plan and actually checking out your money story. What are you telling yourself? Because so much of being successful is mindset. Systems are great. Processes are great. Support is great. 
but mindset is key. And I'm noticing that as I'm coaching my coaches now to quit their jobs, a lot of it is mindset and me just pumping them up and letting them know, yes, you can do this. This is how we're going to do it. Showing them the way so that that, that, um, low confidence or that inner critic just gets shoved down because they've got me there telling them, Nope, you've got this. And this is why you're going to be successful. And if we do it this way, um, no problem. So as much as I'm teaching people processes and, and teaching them online, how to move their businesses online, social media strategies, um, setting up a website, making money without a website. Something that I got recently was I really want to grow my business, but I don't have a website. Don't worry about it. I've done successful launches without even using my website. Um, there's certain things you can do to just have sales pages or, um, you don't even need that. You can straight up use Instagram stories because that's where people are hanging out. Um, connect with them if they want more free clarity call message me for a free clarity call, um, or click the link in my bio for a free 15 minute call. You can have the link in your bio, your, your calendar. There's Calendly is a free calendar that people can book in. So it can be as simple as that. Then you have them on the phone and you chat uh, about what, how you can help them. So you don't actually need a website. So these are the types of things that um, I'm seeing pop up. And this first round of coaches, I actually gave them unlimited email access to me because I wanted their questions so that I could build content to help more people as well as build out videos and training from those questions. Those questions are gold. So both of them, when I was in, um, two girls out of the, out of the three students, when I was in Mexico, they were like, Oh, I won't email you. Like enjoy your vacation. I'm like, no, no, you email me. That's gold. This is exactly what I want to hear. I want to hear your questions so that I can make, um, the content that is relevant. Um, as well as it doesn't drain me because I'm working within my niche. I'm pumped to help this population. These business owners because they're stoked. Like I can't even explain when I get off the phone with them, I'm actually energized in my own business because of their energy. And it's because I've got a specific person there. Um, it's so fine tuned. If someone's willing to quit their day job in 90 days, they're serious about their business, right? I asked them on day one, like, what's your quit date? We're doing this. It's not this wishy washy. Do you maybe want to grow your business? Do you maybe want to, um, do your business full time. It's yes, you do 100% and you're ready and willing to invest. And the reason why I chose that population is because I can relate. I did it. So what better way to teach than on something that you've successfully done as well as I want to work with people like me who are driven, who are going to do the work, who are successful, um, in other areas of their life, because Believe it or not, if you have different revenue streams, the number one way to build any of them is to build yourself and get your vibe higher. So in a sense, I just get to teach these people how to take care of themselves and vibe higher because then their business is going to do well, their relationships are going to do better. So if I was to put the program out there as that, it's a little too broad, right? But if I say, work with me guys, it's a 90 day escape plan to quit your day job. It's just makes it easier for the person to decide. But in reality, I can then teach them all these different things. And I get this often with my nutrition health coaches or my dietitians. They're like, but I know so much, or I just want to teach on everything. You can teach on everything, but the sales process has to be specific and clear. So the person knows, yes, this is for me. And yes, I want to buy it. The last launch that I did, I had no questions. People just bought the program because I was so clear in my messaging of who it was for. There was no back and forth. Whereas in the past with, um, programs I've sold, it's been a lot of back and forth because they're not sure if it's for them or they don't have confidence in themselves. Um, especially wellness programs. People don't have, they're like, don't have confidence that they can do anything for 90 days. So they just don't sign up. So that's a lot of the sales process as well is getting people confident in themselves. So that would be doing a free five day challenge or for me, it would be doing a free, a live video challenge or grow your social media. So people can have confidence in themselves that they can do this. Um, because a lot of it is they don't have confidence in themselves. 
All right, my throat's dry. I haven't talked this much for 10 days, so getting back into it. My 30th birthday today. Like, share, comment. Um, if you have any uh, business junkie friends that you think this would be great for, please tag them or share it with them. My mission is to continue to help um, business owners create a business that they love, a life that they love, travel when they want. Uh, I just got back from Mexico. I'm going to Florida. And if you are jealous, then just do it. And I can help you just do it. There is, um, I wasn't always this, this free. I definitely worked for it. And um, I'm all about working smarter, not harder. You don't have to work 14 hour days. Um, so if you like what I do and you want to quit your job, I'm your girl. Bye-bye.